Okay, I'm kind of changing things up here a little bit. Um, what we're talking about now, well, what we've already talked about is portal states. They're open, they're occupied, they're active, they're dormant, or they're stoned. So these are the states that portals can be in. And we already talked about that. Dormant's just when a, a portal is stacked upon. Um, this is portal characteristics. Um, we have blocking, neutrality, and dynamics. And what I mean by this is all portals are the same. There's no difference between any portal. So the black player can use the piece, the white player can use the piece. They are neutral. They don't have a preference. That is by design. Now they are blocking. Now this isn't a good example, but this is. The pawn can't go t on top of the portal. It has to attack. This is the term I sometimes use, attack activated. So all the moves that a portal makes are attack moves. If in regular chess it's an attack move, then it's a valid portal move. So I call them attack activated. Now, they're blocking, they're neutral, and they're dynamic. And dynamic, as I've said again, is simply they move to where the player was that took the piece. So it's important to realize, or just one of the characteristics is, it blocks and it unblocks. So if there was a piece here next to the pawn, if the pawn were here, it could then move there. So it no longer was blocking. That makes sense. Or if the, bish or if the uh, rook is available, it can go down the rank or file whatever ever that is rank and file I always get those mis mixed up anyhow that's what we're talking about the basics of the characteristics of portals okay what they do and this is deeply a part of strategy and that's why I pointed it out right away